Hello everyone. Today we will start another practical. The aim of the practical is written here. And first read the aim. To verify the laws of combination, series and parallel of his uh, resistances using metered bridge. We have to verify the combination like series combination and parallel combination of resistances using metered bridge. In our earlier videos, we have already discussed uh, how we can calculate the resistances, unknown resistances using meter bridge. Please go to the video and see uh, the link is given in the description box. Okay, so uh, we have already know now we already know this that uh, the, how the meter bridge works. Uh, in which principle it is based? It is based on Western bridge principle. Uh, every details are discussed in this in that video. Okay, go to that video and see this, and then come to this video. So we have to now verify the combination laws. Now see the circuit. This is our circuit. This is the meter bridge. Where this is the one meter length where the length of the wire is hundred centimeter. A B is the one meter length resistance wire, and this is a known resistance P and this is an unknown resistance Q. And in between P and Q, galvanometer is connected, and this is the jockey of the galvanometer. Okay, and from this A end we have connected the battery, and uh, the positive end of the battery, the A end is connected, and the negative end of the battery is connected to the key, and the other end of the key is connected to the B end of the battery. This is our complete circuit. At first, we have to take a resistance from the P, which is our known resistance. Then we will uh, calculate the resistance Q, which is our unknown resistance, by using the meter bridge. What is the procedure and what is the details? We have already discussed in the previous video. So now we have to uh, uh, we have to calculate the value of the unknown resistance Q using this meter bridge. Then we will take another resistance, which is R. And we will also calculate the unknown resistance R by this process. And then we will verify the combination law. Now you can see the instrumental setup. This is the instrumental setup. This is known as the meter bridge. Okay. This is the resistance wire of the meter bridge. Okay. Now I will show the circuit. In the circuit diagram we have already seen that the positive terminal of the battery will be connected to the left end of the meter bridge wire, to the A terminal of the meter bridge wire. And the negative terminal of the battery is connected to the one end of key. And another end of key is connected to the negative terminal. The another end of the key is connected and the another terminal of the key is connected to the B terminal the right end of the meter bridge which is the B terminal of the meter bridge and this known resistance P is connected parallel to these two points okay and the positive end of the galvanometer is connected to this middle point and this negative terminal positive terminal is connected between P and Q this middle point and the negative terminal of the battery is connected with the jockey and the other gap this gap is connected with the unknown resistance we don't know the resistance we have to calculate the resistance of this one okay so this gap in this gap a known resistance p is connected and in this gap unknown resistance q is connected we have to measure the value of this unknown resistance this is our table we will take out resistances from the resistance box which is called p and then we will get the zero deflection point the length of the zero deflection point l then we will calculate this two column at first we will take resistance 6 ohm from this resistance box now to take the reading we have taken the resistance 6 from the resistance box this is 5 and this one is 1 i have taken resistance 6 from the resistance box so the uh, resistance p is equals to 6 now power supply is on and i am connecting the key to take reading okay so now we will take the deflection point we can see left deflection here and we can see right deflection here so in between zero deflection will also be there see here this is the zero deflection point right and the point we get zero deflection is 37.4 i hope you can see this this is 37.4 So, for 6 ohm resistance, the length is length of the null point is 37.4. Now, to take another reading for 7 ohm. I am making the resistance P as 7 ohm. This is 5 and this is 2. Total 7. And now, I am connecting the key and I am taking the second reading. Left deflection. 
and right deflection. So in between them, null point is there. It is the null point. See, this is forty one point two. This is forty one point two. Okay. Now we have taken another reading for resistance eight. Okay, for resistance. P six, seven, and eight. We have taken these three readings, and then after we have calculated the value of hundred minus L, and then using this formula, we have calculated the value of Q, the unknown resistance. The value of Q means the value of this resistance. Okay, and we have taken the mean value of the Q. The mean value of the Q is ten ohm. Okay, so the value of the unknown resistance Q is ten ohm. This is our first resistance. We will do the same process using our second resistance. This one. This is our second resistance, second unknown resistance. We will do the same procedure with this resistance. So now we have to replace this resistance with the new resistance. Now we will do the same experiment using this second unknown resistance. Okay. Okay. Now we will uh, try to get the deflection point. So see, we have taken out the resistance one ohm from this known resistance box P, and we are connecting the key here. And now the power supply is on. Okay. So we are trying to get the deflection point. We are not getting it here. See, here the deflection point. Okay. The value is twenty eight point five. I hope you can see the value. This is twenty eight point five. For the second reading, I am taking out the resistance two ohm from the resistance box. This is P two ohm, and I am trying to get the null point. See, it is the null point. Okay, this is the null point, and this is forty two. I hope you can see this. This is forty two. We have taken this reading for our second unknown resistance R. This is these are the value of P when we have taken the resistance one ohm from the resistance box. This is the value of the L when we have taken two ohm from the resistance box. This is the value of the L for three ohm. This is the value. Now we have to calculate this. Now we have calculated this two column and from this we have got these values of the unknown resistance R and the mean value of the R is this. Now we have to verify the combination law. Now we should know what is the combination laws. When two resistances are connected like this, then it is known as that two resistances are connected in series combination. If the value of the resistance is R one and the value of the resistance is R two, then the equivalent resistance of them should be R one plus R two. Okay. And if these two resistances are connected like this, this is known as parallel combination. And if the value of the resistance is R one and this is R two, then the equivalent resistance will be one by R. Equivalent equals to one by R one plus one by R two. Therefore, one by R equivalent is equals to R one R two plus R two plus R one, and the value of the R equivalent will be R one R two divided by R one plus R two. Okay, this is for parallel combination, and this is for series combination. Now, what is our work? We have to replace this unknown resistance by this two resistance. Now, what is our experimental work? We have already put our first resistance Q and second resistance R here and got their value. Okay. Now we will replace this position by the series combination of Q and R. We are replacing this by series combination of Q and R, and then we will try to calculate the value of the series combination by the same procedure. This is our first work, and the next part of our work is we have to replace this by The parallel combination of Q and R, and then we will try to get the equivalent resistance R equivalent for this parallel uh, combination also, and then we can understand whether they are similar to this value or not. Okay, now we will replace this resistance R by the series combination of R and Q. Okay, so make the connection. Now carefully see the series combination. We have connected this terminal with one terminal of the first resistance, and the other terminal of the first resistance is connected 
to the one terminal of the second resistance and this term other terminal of the second resistance is connected to this okay so now clearly see how the series combination works this is connected to this this is this and this is connected to this this is the series combination of two unknown resistance q and r okay now to take reading i am connecting this key and now power supply is on okay now see the deflection we have to take the resistance from p i am taking out resistance 10 ohm at first okay this is our resistance p i am taking out the resistance 10 ohm from this okay this is the 10 ohm and now we have to see where is the deflection zero deflection point see this is the zero deflection point this is 42.5 this is the zero deflection point i hope you can see this 42.5 now we have to take this for 11 ohm now the p is 11 ohm this is 10 and this is 1 we will try to get the zero deflection point see, this is the zero deflection point and the value is 45.1 this is 45.1 i hope you can see this we have taken this three readings for the series combination for 10 ohm 11 ohm and 12 ohm these are the value of the null point now we have to calculate this we have already calculated this see the value of the resist equivalent resistance in series these are the value of the equivalent resistance in series right so now we have to verify whether the result is close or not we have already calculated the value of q is 10.01 the value of r is 2.82 so the in series combination the equivalent resistance will be r1 plus r2 this is 12.83 ohm and by experiment we get the value of rs which is 13.4 on ohm so this is verified these values are enough close so the series combination is verified now we will do for this same procedure for parallel combination now we will connect these two resistances in parallel combination parallel combination the two end of the resistance this is the first end and this is the second end both are connected across this and the second resistance the two end of the second resistance they are also connected at the two ends of this okay the two ends of the resistance are connected across this and the two ends of this resistance is also connected across this this is the parallel combination now we have to take the reading now we are taking the reading power supply is on and the key is connected so we will try to get the null point we're trying to get the zero deflection we are getting zero deflection at the point 46.8 we are getting zero deflection at 46.8 okay for which resistance we have got this you can see here we have taken resistance 2 ohm as p for 2 ohm resistance we got this null point now we are taking the resistance 3 ohm this is 2 and this is 1 so 3 ohm is it goes to P. Now the deflection. This is the deflection. And here we get our null point. See, this is 54.5. This is 54.5. This is 54.5 for 3 ohm resistance in the resistance box. Now see this. This is the entire table for parallel combination. We have taken those readings and we have calculated this. And from this we got the unknown uh, resistance for parallel combination is 2.40 ohm. This is the mean value. And now we have to calculate the original value. We know the first resistance was 10.01 ohm and the second resistance was 2.82 ohm. So in parallel combination the equivalent resistance will be 2.3 ohm. So these two values are close enough. Like for series combination these two values are close enough for parallel combination these two values are close enough so hence we can say that the series combination and parallel combinations are proved uh, by experiment and by calculation we have proved that uh, the combination laws are right 
I hope you understand this. If you have any doubt, you can ask in the comment section. Please like, share and subscribe the channel. Thank you everyone.